I always say there's three kinds of, uh, of awareness that we gather. It, and it's with the universe too. This is why I say awareness. One, interrupters, right? Before you got, took the blessings out of your job, you were an interrupter. You were telling the universe what you wanted. You weren't listening. You weren't aware of what was there. You, weren't act, you didn't hold your lottery ticket. You were paying the two bucks, right? It's stupid. You were an interrupter. All you were concerned about is telling, right? More interesting than interested. Then the second type is uh, a waiter. You know, a waiter, I forget someone uh, said it's a delayed interrupter. And, and we've all been there, right? Someone's talking to you and, and, or the universe is telling you something and you kind of wait and listen and listen and listen, but all you're thinking about is what you want to tell them, right? And, and, you know, I'll catch myself sometimes in an interview being a waiter like I'm not really uh, learning I'm more sitting there going okay what am I gonna ask next and it plays off but where you excite people right like that, that impact theory one mm -hmm. where it gets exciting is where Tom Bailu for me or for me for somebody else like with Ray Lewis that you're so into it that you are learning you're processing, you're, it's coming through you, and you're sitting there, and all of a sudden he's done saying what he's saying, and you're like, oh shit, I'm on TV. <laughs> like, I gotta think of another question. But since you're learning, there's a ton of different things that instantly come through you again. So be, you know, catch yourself when you're interrupting. You know, why is it I'm not aware of listening to what the universe is telling me? And don't, that unconditional side, don't put a judgment on it. Don't be so good at saying, this isn't what I planned, therefore it is bad. This isn't what I planned, therefore this isn't right. This doesn't feel good, therefore it's not teaching, right? It, whoa, 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 no, maybe it doesn't feel good because it's expanding you. Maybe you, somebody or something knows or sees a lot more than you do, somebody outside the realm of time and ego that, whoa, this thing happening is so awesome for you. It's a blessing. So how do we start raising our awareness to that? Look for the blessing. Why is stopping at a red light good or bad? Most people, when they get stopped at a red light, they think it's bad. I personally think it's good. I can list out 10 blessings why every red light is good. Even after you get a ticket? <laughs> Getting a ticket. I can tell you why it's good. But I got, the last ticket I got, true story, I'm driving, and my son said to me, you're speeding. And I, being human, I'm like, yeah, well, it's only speeding if I get caught. Two seconds, <laughs> two seconds late, right? Not, not the lesson I should be teaching my son, but I'm human, right? So guess what happens? Boo! Right, pulled over. And now I had an opportunity of blessing because I took accountability. We, our kids don't listen to us at all. No matter what age is, they watch us. So now the police officer comes up, comes rolled down the side window, eight year old sitting right here. And he said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, I assume I was speeding. I assume because it was, I was speeding. He's all, yes, do you know how fast you were going? I said. No, I really don't, but my son does because he pointed out I was speeding and I was about to slow down. And he said, yeah, he said, you were speeding you know, 14 miles over the speed limit. He said, this is a dangerous area. There's kids around here. And so they have me. I know this. Uh, I said, no, I'm accountable. I was speeding. You know, I, I appreciate it. I did, right? That, I know that stuck. Right? It's... it's and my dad would have taught me that lesson. My dad would have taught me how to get out of the ticket, done all these things. Instead, I'm looking always for the blessings in it. I get a ticket, look, the ticket's the ticket. Then I can deal with paying for it, going to, to traffic school, whatever it is, I did it. But it also taught me that maybe I shouldn't speed it and, and take that. And so they, who knows how many lives I've saved, either my own or others, because I got pulled over. I, I, trust, I trust it now. It's like, okay, this is another lesson that I didn't learn along the way. And the more, and then, like, my life is so good because I'm looking at everything that way. 
it's the same life as I had before. I just appreciate it in both ways more than I ever have. Right? I get to do everything. Like that simple switch in my mind has changed my life. And I remind myself, even in front of all of you, just like I'll cancel something. I remind myself I'm as human as everyone else. I'm a hypocrite like everyone else, but I'm in pursuit. You know, if anyone's played sports, that word pursuit, like if you've seen a guy go down the sideline, right, that, that's what I think of every day for me. It's like everyone thinks he's gone, and you come out of it like a Don Beebe, you know, and he hits the ball right at the goal line. Some of you can look this up. Reich on fourth down to throw. Pressure sacked oh, by Jeff Curry. And fumble. And Leon Lett picks oh, it up no. to the 40. Oh, look out. Here he goes. Here oh, comes Leon. Leon. To the 20. Go oh, to the 10. Oh, Leon Lett oh, has it back fumbled. out of his hand. It's a fumble. It's a fumble. He had it knocked out of his hand. He was oh, hot dogging no. and held it out at the two-yard line. And from behind, the Bills came. And like, to me, like, how inspiring is that? When you're pursuing it, Right? That's why that fourth quarter, the last inning of the, the, the World Series, when it gets, right, you feel it, right? That pursuit, 162 games, right? Uh, Boston was 17 and three in preseason. They were 108 wins during the regular season. All the different series, plus the, right? All those games, 200 and some games, all down to one at bat in the 18th inning. Like, how did that feel for the Dodgers and them? Right, they're in the pursuit. That's what makes it so great. Why? Inspiration. Inspiration is closest to the truth.